Small business cybersecurity, good, better, best. What's better? Well, here's the good. Let's talk about what's better. Hi, I'm Woody Huffines. I'm the nurse to go in McKinney and Frisco, Texas, and this is Tech for the Untechnical. There's always a good, better, best kind of world that we live in, which is what's a good thing to do, what's a better thing to do, and what's the best thing you can do. And with cybersecurity, here's a video. I talked about what's good or what's the baseline that everybody needs to have before you can consider yourself to be in pretty good shape for cybersecurity. But there's always a better step. So what are the things that you can do to move from having a good cybersecurity plan to having a better cybersecurity plan? The first thing that you can do is regularly look for vulnerabilities or weaknesses. If you've got a good password manager, passwords aren't the problem. But you need to look at your log files, look at what's going on on your computer. Having a regular process where you look to see what the health of the computer is, what's going on with the computer to see if you have any indicators of compromise is the next thing that you can do, which makes your cyber hygiene a little bit better than what we discussed in the good level. The next thing that you could do is implement network segmentation. Make sure that you have a guest network if it's at home or you have a guest network at your office so that people can't log in to the same network that your business or your home is running on. It's a good thing to segment the network for the Internet of Things devices that you have so that your ring cameras and your doorbells and your baby monitors and your refrigerators and your bread makers and all the stuff that's connected to the Internet isn't on the same network segment as the good stuff that you want to protect. And network segmentation can be done using uh, a guest network on your wireless. It, it can also be done by segmenting the network with a switch so that that network segmentation works so that if something gets on the network, it doesn't move laterally on the network to get to other valuable resources. And we talked about network segmentation before. The next thing to reach the better level is to implement a robust cybersecurity plan. Some planning goes a long way. If you spend some time planning for what your risks are, what those risks mean to your business or your home, and how do you mitigate those risks, as well as how do you recover from those risks, put you in a little bit better position than just having the, the, the antivirus and the password manager, because now you're thinking about what can go wrong, and you have a plan for recovering from what can go wrong, and having a good partner in your, in your cybersecurity world will help you do that. So, Having a good, robust cybersecurity plan, a written information security plan, it's a WISP. That's the next step to be better than just good. The fourth thing you can do is implement some technical controls that give you some intrusion protection as well as taking care of the network in general, and that's usually a firewall. If you put that firewall in place, that helps prevent you from getting to places on the internet that you don't want to go, and it gives you a better level of protection because that firewall is protecting the entire network instead of just the Windows firewall that's just on the computer. And here we've talked about firewalls and there's videos to talk about all these things, but the next level to get to better cyber hygiene is implement a firewall. And just the point that I made before about segmenting the network, segmenting a network becomes a lot easier with the next generation firewall. Finally, especially if you're a business, institute strict access controls. Spend some time looking at who has accounts, what their email accounts are. Do you have employees that still have emails that aren't part of the business anymore? Do you have vendors who have come in and put something on and there's passwords and there's ways to get into your system that you may not have thought about in a long time? A lot of the big cyber attacks have happened because businesses would spin up a development server and then instead of shutting it down, it got left on. So look at who has access to your system. Make sure that all the people that need to have access, have it, have it at appropriate level, and make sure that the people who don't need access aren't included in your access tables. If you've got questions about this, give us a call and urge to go McKinney. As always, if this is helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, and we'll talk again soon.